Hello Aquarius. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac reading. Uh, I've shuffled the deck till a couple threw out and cut in cards. This is you Aquarius, the unicorn, magic, standing your ground. This is your mountain. You created it and no one is going to bump you off of it. They're just little fireflies anyway. Your crowning energies are the hanged man and the sun. The hanged man is, I don't know why people don't like this card. It's not bad. It's pause. Yes, you're in pause. Looking at things from a different angle or different angles. But you're awakening. You're becoming enlightened. You're finding out things you never even knew about yourself. And the sun, once you do come out of hangman, you're going to realize that 19, it adds to one, it comes, denominates down to one, which is a brand new beginning. And this brand new beginning is going to be lucrative for you, abundant. The sun's going to crown you. You have a message coming in from an, possibly an earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or it's just somebody who is very stable, very balanced, or the message is going to bring you some balance, stability, and something tangible. Eight of Fire, you've been through a lot, and you set your intention, a decision, something you want to get out of eight is a beautiful number by the way this is about bringing things into reality so you set your intention do you know anything about the law i was going to say of gravity but pretty much the same thing law of attraction spirit heard your prayer sent a guardian picked you up put you on the guardian's back and that guardian is guiding you towards that reality The ace of earth, that reality is a brand new beginning that's tangible. It could be a new job, a new home, something that's going to, it's empire building, kingdom building, legacy building. Better pull this down a little bit because we need to fit another card in. Two of air, I saw that coming. Needing to make a choice. Needing to make a choice. It's like you, this message that's coming in is going to help you decide, I think, which direction you want to go, intend to go. You need a little help and faith for this new beginning. The hermit going, see, the hanged man, now the hermit. Number nine, this is about your wishes. Looking inside of yourself about the dreams, the hopes, the wishes that you have. One, you know, bringing them into focus in a logical way, over heart, solutions, decisions. You have a decision to make at the very heart of the reading is you, Queen of Air. This is all the wisdom that you gained. And look at your beautiful face. You're very approachable. People can approach you and talk to you. And you're warm to them. Uh, any sign of BS, though, uh, you don't need that in your life, and you will let it be known. The King of Water, someone is madly in love with you. The King of Water is the uh, King of Love. When it comes to love, this is the one you want. And in this particular deck, he's standing up. He's ready to make an offer to merge paths with you. His emotions are in check, but he certainly does have deep emotions for you. Still waters run deep. Compassionate. He's very compassionate. Four fire. This is about commitment, marriage, foundation building. Perhaps this is the offer he's coming with for a brand new beginning. That's legacy building. 
building a kingdom together. You're in thought mode, making a decision about this commitment. And there's movement forward, whether you're ready or not. Messenger of Earth. So now we've moved up to the messenger from the page. Uh, a little more of a mature offer, perhaps. Maybe the first one, eh, you did a little cutting and went, no. So th the next offer coming in is, uh, look, I'm willing to get my hands dirty here to build, to build a kingdom together. So let me see. We'll clarify this. Aquarius, if uh, after this, you know, I'll be going over to the website for the extended reading to open it up. And uh, please do come. For the price of one extended reading, you have access to all of the Zodiacs and the Afternoon Delights for an entire month. Plus, you can ask me a question under any of those extended readings. And I'll pull you a card. I that's the part I love. First thing in the morning, I'm pulling cards uh, in the comment section under the extended. And the last thing I do at night, I just love doing that. And it is my thanks for all the support that you've given me. Aquarius, you've been one of my strongest supporters. Thank you so much. And please hit like because it does help get my messages out or subscribe and all that stuff that I'm supposed to say. And I do still do personal readings. I'm all caught up on those. Whoop. Thank you. Oh, broken heart. You've had your heart torn out. That's why you're in hermit mode. That's why you're in pause. You're reflecting. You're healing or trying to heal from a broken heart. You've got baggage. There's the hermit's lantern. Come inside. Let's get rid of this baggage. This swan is about grief, sorrow. These herbs are about healing, healing herbs. I haven't figured out what the trough is for. Still water. So we're going to clarify the hangman with the page of swords. Perhaps you are the one that's bringing a message to someone to bring some clarity into a situation to test some of your new skills. Maybe it's a new relationship. But you have attained some wisdom here in these new skills that you're testing. The, the owl is up there. Perhaps during the last full moon, which was super powerful, the Scorpionic full moon uh, bubbled up all our deepest, darkest, hidden secrets within ourselves, made us look at ourselves. It was a very emotional time. It's still emotional. People are still trying to get over that one. A lot of things happen. But it was part of our growth to look within this hermit period. It's clarifying the hangman. So you're going to come out of this testing some skills that you've learned from spirit. The sun, the queen of wands. This could be someone, someone else. This could be you. But it's about a person who's very comfortable in their abilities to get what they want. She's got that wand in her hand. If I need it, I get it. No problem. I'm an old hat at this. The younger version of this person, uh, this is just to, it doesn't really denote the age of the person, though it can, is about the maturity level you've reached or this person has reached to get what they want. But they are fire energy. To others, they're attractive, magnetic, charismatic. They get what they want. They're admired. Pretty self-confident, but not arrogant, not vain. Page of Earth is overcoming some obstacles to bring you this offer. He sees a polecat in the road, or a skunk. And he's got some things here he wants to offer. That brings stability to the home. There you are with the soup ladle. This could be the other way around. You coming in with an offer. 
Eight of Fire is going to be clarified by somebody needs to step up. You know, there's too much uh, conflict here. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Someone needs to step up. And it, it could be you. Right now you're in rest period. Perhaps it's this other person. Perhaps it's a situation at work. Ace of Earth, this new beginning. Oh, it looks like you're going to birth it. You're birthing a brand new beginning. You set out the intentions. The universe is delivering to you. You could be pregnant for real. Or you could be coming into a time of fertility where you could get pregnant. So be careful if you're not wanting to. But this is a brand new beginning. That's going to be abundant. She's holding the cornucopia. It's overflowing. She's got ducks at her feet. Everything she needs. She embodies all four queens. Two of air. Balance. 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 Looks like you're trying to balance. Look at This is about needing to make a decision. This is about balancing it. So you're trying to find the best way to bring balance into your life. The Hermit's going to be clarified by the Eight of Wands. So this is you preparing for this new cycle, for this journey, for this trip, for this journey of your destiny. You've got a little messenger bird there encouraging you, little whispers of the spirit world. And you're just organizing things, putting things together, knowing that this is about to happen. Putting things together in your mind. Queen of Air. You're feeling uh, exhausted. This is the Wounded Warrior. You are protecting something beautiful that you've created. That you know, you've know you worked hard on. Could be you're protecting family members. It could be you're protecting feelings. It could be protecting what you built with a person. In a relationship. Or a job. Knowing that you're coming close to the end, this is the nine, the ten is completion, where you can lay down your burdens, but you're almost there, almost there. King of Water is going to be clarified by the King of Water, or the King of Cups, they're both the King of Cups. So he wants to stand up and make an offer, but here he is, sitting down, watching, waiting for the right moment. This could be female, by the way, if you're a male. Oh, there's victory in commitment. There's victory in commitment. Not much to say about that. The chariot. You want to move forward, but you feel stuck. You feel you're moving forward, but you still feel kind of stuck. Maybe things think, feel like they're just not moving at all, but they are moving. Spirit is carrying you there. Messenger of Earth says, look, we've, we've planted the seeds, sweetheart. I've been cultivating them, weeding them, patiently waiting, being inspired here. Can we not harvest yet? We're at the seven. Not yet, sweetheart. But you're almost there. You're almost there. This is a good card to get. All right, I'm going to take this over to the extended and see where we're going to go uh, further into this. And clarify them with some romance cards and some clarifying cards, more clarifying cards. Thanks for all of your support, Gemini. God bless you. I hope I see you over there. Everything's in the description that you need. And I also have a Facebook page. I pull a card every day. All right. Hopefully, we'll see you over there. God bless. Bye for now.